Hello everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to do this cool neon effect on DaVinci Resolve. I have something to say before we start. I'm using the studio version of DaVinci Resolve because we need to create a mask to crop our object or person from the background. We use the magic mask to do that automatically instead of doing frame by frame manually, which can take a lot of time to mask just a simple move. Hopefully, there is an online tool that can help us with that and you can start using it for free. Runway ML is an excellent program that creates mask tracking. It allows three projects for free and its link will be in the description. With all said and done, we can move on to the point of the video. With a clip on your timeline, go to the color interface, select this option, which is the magic mask. First, we need to check some options out. The magic mask allows two types of selection, an object or a person. Always try to use the object even though when you are selecting a person. However, if it's not possible, use the person mask tracker. As I said, we will use the object mask. We can activate this overlay to see what we are masking. And another thing that you can do is activate the highlight option here as well. Now, with this pen and the qualifier option selected, you can sort of draw your mask on the monitor. It doesn't need to be perfect. As you can see, it turned red. However, we made a mask in only one frame. And of course, we want to mask all over the video. It's very simple to do that. Go to these two arrows and click on them to start the tracking process. It takes somewhat time to finish. Look, we have a remarkable and tracked mask now. Let's separate the person from the background. Move to this nodes panel, right click and add alpha output. Grab this square and drag the line to this blue circle, your output. And if you deselected the overlay option, you will see that the background disappeared. Now, go back to the edit interface again. We have here the video without the background. To do the effect, we will need to use the fusion interface. But when we go for it, the background appears again and we need to fix that. Edit interface, right click on your clip and create a new fusion clip. Right click again and select open in the timeline. If I play the video, the person disappears because you created a new clip to insert it on the fusion interface. So go to the color interface and track your mask again. That solves the problem. Back to the edit interface again, double click on your timeline shortcut. And as you can see, the person is in the entire video. And finally, with the mask done, we can move on to the effect properly. Go to the fusion interface. The first thing to do here is to create an outline for our person. Go to this effect panel, template, fusion and tools. Select the edge control node. Delete this line by just clicking on it and dragging this other line from media in to our alpha edge and connecting the alpha edge to our media out. Increase this value here to see the edges increasing and appearing. With the alpha edge selected, press shift and space simultaneously to open the tools panel and type glow. Here, we have a bunch of options to improve the effects quality, like let it be brighter and more visible for example. And the most important thing is the color scale, because with that, you can change the colors to find the best for your case. Another thing that you can do is add a color corrector to progressively change the color of your outline. Click on this vertical line and drag it to the beginning of your clip. Select the color you want and create a keyframe. Grab the line again and drag it to the end of the video and select another color. It automatically creates a new keyframe. The last thing to do is insert the background again. Go to the edit interface and grab your native clip and bring it to your timeline. And now put it under your outline in the video. And that was it. Now you know how to do this beautiful effect. Thanks for watching.